I'm Narendra Kanda. I'm a director in hardware engineering at NVIDIA. Our products and solutions range from chips to systems, which play a key role in supercomputers, artificial intelligence and deep learning computing platforms, video gaming, and autonomous driverless vehicles. I run one of the world's largest emulation labs. Emulation technology plays a key role in design verification, system integration, and software checkout before taping out a chip. The challenges in design verification and system integration continues to compound with every new generation and with every new architecture of our GPUs and SOC chips. To address these complexities, we employ a vast array of tools like formal verification, simulation, emulation, and prototyping. Traditional way of using an emulator is in an in-circuit mode. An in-circuit emulation mode has one of the fastest throughputs of all emulation methodologies. It serves 80 to 90% of our needs. Now, another unique way of using an emulator is by creating a system by fusing a hardware emulator with virtual components. One such virtual component is this new tool from Cadence called Virtual Bridge. Virtual Bridge is a unique solution that allows us to connect an emulator to a virtual PC using Cadence's off-the-shelf transactors. It allows us to realize multi-GPU configurations with ease. Virtual Bridge enhances the debug capabilities of an emulator by allowing the user to pause a run without running into system timeouts. Now this allows our software and hardware engineers to debug our code more efficiently. Physical in-circuit emulation methodology is simply irreplaceable, but it can be complemented with virtual emulation, namely with virtual bridge. This is a welcome tool from Cadence that takes the capabilities of an emulator to newer heights. It enables us to extract more value out of the emulators, thereby resulting in higher ROI for our investment in emulation technology. Great job, Cadence. Thank you and keep up the innovation.